Welcome to Old School Forest Preserve. Good afternoon, everybody. I am coming to you this afternoon from Medawa, Illinois. It is at this location that we are gonna ride the trails here at Old School Forest Preserve. Old School Forest Preserve is yet another one of the Lake County Forest Preserves that I have not checked out yet. While I have ridden the Des Plaines River Trail, which runs right through it, I have not checked out any of the trails here. So they have four different loops here. Uh, the blue loop goes around the lake here, it's one mile. You're able to ride that on bikes. Uh, the yellow loop here is 2.7 miles. A portion of the yellow loop is also the Des Plaines River Trail, so keep that in mind. So this portion here I've actually ridden, but none of the other trails here. They have an inner loop here, the pink loop. That's the gravel fitness trail. It's 1.2 miles. Uh, bikes are not allowed. And then I guess one of the odd ones here, I don't think I've seen anything like this before. Uh, they have a red loop here, uh, but it's not actually a trail. They're referring to it as a paved roadway trail. So essentially the red loop is just the forest preserve roads. Uh, we enter over here and it's a one-way loop all the way around. It's one way by car also. So you're going to be sharing uh, this paved trail uh, with cars. So keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look at this on all trails. Uh, so I have uh, the three loops that I'm going to be able to do here. I'm not doing the inner loop because you can't do that by bicycle. So I'm going to do these three loops here. It looks like where I parked here, which is uh, right by the Lake Lookout Shelter, uh, which is uh, this uh, over here. They do have restrooms over here, by the way. So we're really close to the blue loop. I imagine we just go this way and then hang a left or a right. And then also from this location, it looks like we can pick up the yellow loop right over here. So it's gotta be somewhere on this side of the parking lot. Not exactly sure where that is from this standpoint. And then the red loop is the basically the Forest Preserve Road. Uh, which is just on the opposite side of the parking lot here. So we're going to do that also. So at this point, uh, it's 52 degrees. We're on a Saturday here, uh, the weekend right before Thanksgiving. Uh, 52 degrees today. I believe it's going to get up to 55 degrees tomorrow. So we have two nice, probably, unfortunately, final days of the riding season this weekend uh, because uh, I looked at the 15-day outlook and the vast majority of those temperatures are in the 30s, unfortunately. All right, so let's check out the trails here at Old School Forest Preserve. All right, so we took the blue loop first, uh, going around the lake here. Uh, there was a little side path uh, that I jumped on here. Uh, it takes you to the North Shore bike path. So if you were to head east here on the North Shore bike path, it's basically going to run right into the Robert McClory bike trail in Lake Bluff. And once you're there, you are pretty close to Lake Michigan. Uh, if you were to head west here, on the North Shore bike path, uh, it'll eventually end and then there's uh, you could ride on sidewalks and stuff where it's going to connect to the Millennium Trail and then you could take that west to Lakewood Forest Preserve and then you can start making your way north to Round Lake. Lots of options from this point right here. So checking out this map here. Uh, so we could see all of the loops here at Old School Forest Preserve. We could also see the Des Plaines River Trail running down through here. Uh, over here is Middle Fork Savannah. That's something I checked out last year. If you guys are interested in checking out the Middle Fork Savannah trails, uh, be sure to click that info card above.
All right, so I stopped here at Blue Loop Mile Marker Zero. Uh, good view of the lake right here. Uh, definitely keep out of the water and off of the ice uh, per the Lake County Forest Preserves. Over this way here is their uh, sledding hill. Uh, pretty big. You can see a fat, tired uh, bicyclist up there riding down the side of it. Yeah, that's a pretty big hill. In fact, I'm just going to go down here to see where this goes, then just turn around, see if there is an easy way to get up there. Well, as you saw, I made it up here on the sled hill. And once you get up this high, you have a view of I-94. I came down the little hill here to get a picture of the sign. It uh, looks like uh, there is some train tracks back this way. And uh, it looks like you might actually be able to make it up this side easier than the side I took. All right, so I'm back at uh, Blue Loop Mile Marker Zero. Uh, the sled hill here, definitely worth checking out. I was hoping to be able to see the skyline of Chicago, but unfortunately I did not. So at this point, we're just gonna continue up to the Blue Loop, close that off, and then start one of the other ones. All right, so that was the Blue Loop uh, back at the Lake Lookout Shelter parking lot area here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is uh, head over this way, see if I could find uh, some sort of entrance to the Yellow Trail. And uh, depending on which one I find first, uh, I'll do either this loop or this loop and make my way around. This is the entrance here just off of St. Mary's Road. This is where I pulled in. Uh, and then when you get onto uh, the Forest Preserve Drive, which is being shared as a paved trail, uh, you have to go one way. So you have to make a right here and then you'd come out and then exit back to St. Mary's Road this way. Of all of the trails that I've ridden so far in Lake County, my favorite by far is the Des Plaines River Trail. Basically starts up here at Russell Road. Uh, makes its way all the way down to Lake Cook Road, and then it continues all the way down to North Avenue in the Cook County portion. As you could see, the Des Plaines River Trail basically runs Forest Preserve to Forest Preserve to Forest Preserve. Uh, right now, uh, we're over here at Old School Forest Preserve, and then it runs through MacArthur Woods and keeps making its way all the way down. We are at the point where the Des Plaines River Trail runs into the Yellow Loop here and uh, shares it actually for a while. The two are the same trail uh, headed this way for a while. If we were to continue down this way, this is the way we just came from, that's the Yellow Loop. This is the Des Plaines River Trail heading north.
All right, so we've come to the point where the Des Plaines River Trail continues heading south this way here and the yellow loop splits off from it. Uh, so looking at the map here, north is up, so the Des Plaines River Trail continues to run south. Uh, we're just going to start making our way back up to the top of this loop to close this loop up. And that does it for the 2.7 mile yellow loop here. So at this point, we're almost back to where we started. Uh, started the parking lot just right over there, the little side path right here. So right here is what they call the Red Loop Paved Roadway Trail. It's 1.5 miles. All right, so that does it for the loops here at Old School Forest Preserve. Uh, so we started off with the blue loop here, then we did the yellow loop here, and then we did the paved roadway trail here. According to my bike, it said I did about 6.2 miles. As I would expect from a Lake County Forest Preserve, all the trails were in really good shape. So just as I suspected they would be. What makes this a really good forest preserve is its proximity to other trails. So unlike some of the recent ones I've done where they're completely separate on its own with no access to anything, uh, this one here, Old School Forest Preserve, uh, you have the Des Plaines River Trail running right through it. And once you have access to that, you have access to uh, a lot of riding. Also with the North Shore bike path up here, I mean, you can make your way east. You can hit the Robert McClory bike trail, go all the way up into Wisconsin. You could take that down to Cook County where it turns into the Green Bay Trail. You could take the North Shore bike path the other way to Wakanda and then pick up the Millennium Trail. You have lots of options from this particular forest preserve. So let me know what you think of the trails in the comments below. If you are familiar with this area and you know of a place that I should check out the next time I'm here, definitely let me know. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you're interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks.
And that's all I got today from Old School Forest Preserve. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.